For my talk at the table, we are talking with someone who stars in one of my favorite CBS shows, Ghosts. Asher Grodman plays Trevor. That's the one with no pants, the <laughs> 90s Wall Street bro, the pantless one. He's just one of the ghosts that reside at the Woodstone Mansion, which has been turned into a bed and breakfast by owners Sam and Jay. And in this week's new episode, we meet Trevor's brother, who's still alive. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Woodstone Mansion. Holy crap. Uh, I have a reservation under Jeremy Lefkowitz. My baby bro. Oh, God, there's another. Jeremy Lefkowitz. Wait, you're Trevor's brother. We, we held his memorial here last year. Yeah, I wanted to come, but just think I wasn't ready to really accept the fact that Trevor was really gone. It was just too painful. It's okay, buddy. Oh, he still said you're dead. That's nice. Who cares? Monsters are real? You know, I always held out hope that maybe he just made a boatload and took some hidey to the Maldives and set up some sort of tax dodge. That's a nice thought. But I wouldn't bring a babe, then you're stuck with her. Tell him that, Sam. Tell him you don't bring sand to the beach. Hey, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, Asher Grodman joins us now. Uh, you have some of the best lines in this show. Really? Oh. There are a lot of good lines. But Tony, before he gets started, he just met uh, Jill Biden, first lady in the green room, and he said, you know what, I used to be a teacher. Asher. <laughs> Used to be a teacher. Yes, 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 that's right, yeah. I, I was a <laughs> substitute teacher in South Central LA for a while. It was like my side hustle until I got, you know, yeah, I to support cool. myself as an actor. And then I was at Rikers Island and then uh, Hunter College. Yeah. Here she in got a kick out of hearing that. Teaching acting. Teaching acting. Well, I was a substitute teacher elementary school in South Central LA and then teaching acting. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm still buzzing. Like, I can't believe, I follow the first lady? Guys. <laughs> oh, pressure. God. Oh. It's tough. No, it's no tough. pressure. So I would text, was texting with my mom, who was a retired teacher, and she was like, teacher pay, bring it up, bring it up. And, yes. and the next text, text message was, ah, but forget teachers. I'm excited about Asher Grodman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's a ghost fan as well, all right? Not only Aww. my household, all the way to mom. Uh, what's it been like uh, with this new season? We get to explore aspects of your character's past. I mean, listen, shout out to our writers. This season is so creative and they're constantly reinventing the show. There's some stuff coming up that's gonna blow your minds. <laughs> I cannot wait for, for these episodes to, to come it? out. Oh. Yes. Just when I think you can't do anything more creative on that show, you do something like Bringing Back a Brother. Mm -hmm. it, it goes to a flashback when you guys were younger. Yeah. You were, you were kind of obnoxious back then, yeah. Asher. Yeah. Well, listen, if, if you grew up I bet you did, playing football video games with your yep. siblings. This is the episode for you. <laughs> when you do yeah. that, it's not always, you know, everything is fair in love and war, yeah. especially yeah. around uh, Madden. No, so it was the, fun, it was fun. What do you think makes this show so special? Because the premise, when you first hear it, you're like, really? What? what? I think there's something, I, I, I think there's something about, we're able to bring people together, even if they're separated by different points of view and different histories and, uh, and there's something, I heard this quote recently of like, uh, uh, I would never die for something I believe in because I could be wrong. And I feel like that is very appropriate for all these characters, is that we have these old ideas and juxtapose them against each other. And, and there's this weird kind of found family thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, you also have experience writing and directing, yes. um, specifically for your favorite NFL team. We all talk about <laughs> this, and we talk about it quite often. Yes. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars. In yes. the team schedule release video, you joke that the playbook is more like a script. Football is easy. Acting is hard. It's not a threat, but anybody can be written out. But you drafted me here. Ah, Cast, don't say drafted. Football may have gotten you here, but acting will keep you here. There's no more difficult. That it's short so film good. you made was just nominated for three Webby Awards. <laughs> so congrats on that. Thank you so much. Tell us about this. Uh, yeah, I can see you beaming with yeah. pride. That's your team. Listen, they they took such a huge risk uh, and, and, and this this leap. And you know, they said, "Come, we want you to write and direct this thing. We want to do something that no one's really ever done before, and kind of reinvent the schedule release." And it became a little bit of a trendsetter in the sports world with this whole NFL is scripted. Everybody and, uh, started doing it. Tennis yeah. is doing it now. Uh, and it was just such a dream. And to see, I mean, you know, to see these athletes in a light that you could never see them otherwise. Yeah. They're playing themselves. I mean, that shot of Tyson Campbell in the <laughs> team room looking terrifying. The, the thing with Trevor amazing. Lawrence, too, is hilarious. You, Trevor's great. There's a thing, there's a line that says, football is easy. Easy Acting is the thing that's hard. That's, yeah. that's right. That all you guys are. <laughs> that's funny. right. We, we have a thing that uh, football got you here, but acting will keep you here <laughs> yes. in the Speaking NFL. Speaking of acting or kind of acting adjacent, I've got a technical kind of mechanical question about your pantlessness there oh, on sure. set, right? So well, you're first doing. Of all, let me just say thank you for the yeah. Webby shout out, and please go vote, watch the video. Uh, yeah. 
Jaguar How can Jags. people see it? How can people see it, Ashley? Uh, it's on YouTube. It's on okay. my socials, the Jaguar okay. socials. Right. Uh, enjoy. Sorry. Okay. So you're, you're pantless. You're acting cut or seen. Are you then putting on a windbreaker, a trench coat? <laughs> Do you go then sit down and everyone's like, no, oh, no, oh, Asher. Yes, yes, that happens a lot. And, and Rose especially complains. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, th there is a little bit of like getting into a cold pool that like once you get out, you kind of, it, it's worse. So yeah. I, and I tend to keep the pants off. Oh, oh, oh I see what you're saying. We've talked about the rip away pants. Yeah. yeah. Someone's gonna have to button those things up, some <laughs> poor soul, and I would never want someone to do that. So yeah. occasionally sweatpants go on, but for yeah. the most part, you just gotta kind of stay in the discomfort. Gotta keep the set warm. Gets, well, you, you pull know. it off, Ashley. Thank you, you pull very it off. much. Do you have nightmares that you show up on set wearing pants? <laughs> the opposite. No, no sure, but the other day I was I was like in the park and I was hot and I really came close to taking my pants off because you get a little too yeah. comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you forget the yeah. normal. You can get they make a thing that. called shorts. You can use those yes. if you yes. find yourself in that predicament you forget again. Forget I'm in public now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Azure Gravit, thank you very much. You can watch an all new episode of Ghost tomorrow night, 8:30, 7:30 Central, right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus.